Hello everybody and welcome back to DRAF 007 Classic Gaming and today we are going to be taking you through how to play Commodore 64 games on PC. So if you're a looking for a bit of a nostalgia uh, to play your some old Commodore 64 games um, or if you're new to retro gaming this is the right place for you. Um, before I go on guys please give us a like on the video, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. We are basically playing all of our old favourites on Commodore 64 top games of the C64 era um, so please leave a comment below if there's a certain game that you'd love to see as well or if you have any questions regarding the video as it goes on um, in terms of how to play games on PC. So what we're going to be showing you guys is the Winvice emulator. Um, this is what we use to play our games on Commodore 64 uh, or sorry Commodore 64 games on PC. So let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to do is, you can see I've got it up here, but the first thing you are going to do uh, is go to Google and just search for Winvice. It's right there. Um, now when you search for Winvice, it'll co probably come up with a few things. Basically up here, if you search on uh, the first one that comes up, um, and this site will come up, and you can go to the download, and you'll be able to download the latest version of uh, the WinVice emulator. So download that, obviously extract it, um, and then it will install onto your computer. What you'll get is a basically a, draw, a file that looks uh, like this, basically where you've got your WinVice uh, and it'll have everything installed for you. Now, when you double click on uh, this X64, that is put basically your Commodore 64 emulator right there. Now the next thing you want to do is, I'll just turn this off for a second. Now in terms of finding games, you want to look for .d64 files. So now there's a number of places you can find these. Um, if we just go back to Google and we go uh, .d64 games download as an example uh, and you'll see that a number of sites come up that have um, a lot of these files to download of old games uh, most of them obviously free a lot of them abandonware um, so there you, you basically will have to do a bit of a search for, for to find a whole heap of catalog of games but there are a number of places where you can do that so i would suggest um, just doing a bit of a search on D64 files um, and you'll be able to find a whole heap of um, old Commodore 64 games to play. We've got a number of them um, here. I'll use some of these as an example. Um, but obviously we've got uh, a massive amount uh, of games that we have here where we've got uh, a whole heap of unzipped games uh, that we found a zip file for which has, you know pretty much hundreds of thousands of the old Commodore 64 games. Uh, if I go back into the WinVice file, okay, so once you've got your D64 files, uh, the way to open this, um, so I will use, let's use, uh, where are we here? We'll use Bubble Bobble as the example. Um, so we're here now. The first time you've kind of got your files down here, probably want to hit your open with to make this quite easy. How do you want to open this file? So we've got here our Vice C64 emulator. When we click on that, then we can always we can tick the always use this app to open D64 files. So that way, basically all we have to do then is double click on the file and it will open in our emulator. Um, and that's the way if you kind of went more apps, you would be able to find your WinVice emulator and do that. We'll click off that and we'll just double click on it now and you will see what will happen. Basically, the game will load up straight away for us. So looking at the emulator, um, what you will see is this is loading in real time. But if we go through the options, we can now go into options. We can go maximum speed. We can hit 200% and it will load the game much quicker than what it used to back in the day for us. And you can see we've got a load screen up, obviously running 
quite fast. We can hit our button um, and our game will load. From here, you can see now it's running really quickly once the game gets, uh, once we load the game. Um, you know, this one here's got a bit of a hack on it. So we want endless lives, endless continues. Do you want invincibility? No deadly enemy after hurry up. Uh, no loss of your old weapon. Enable Speedy Gonzalez mode. Uh, want to install the level skipper. Start level. Uh, just hit enter. And here we are, the game has loaded. We can put the maximum speed back down to 100. And we have bubble bobble. Now, one of the things that you probably want to do through here is just go through your settings of the actual emulator. Um, now, what we want to do is go to settings. You probably want to maybe have a look at, you know, your sound settings, etc. But the main thing is the joystick setting. You can see we've got joystick import one, joystick import two, uh, so that we can play two player, but you've got your key sets, right? So this is where you want to configure your key sets, so you can use your keyboard as the joystick. Uh, if we went config key set A, this is what we've currently got. Um, sorry, so we've got our down, up, left, right as our... Um, southwest east north and then we've got our right control button as our fire button um, that's on key set one on key set two we've got um, or config key set b sorry we've got different uh, setting on that one um, in case and obviously as you would those that played Commodore 60 game 64 games will know a lot of the games would only be played from joy stick port two rather than port one. Um, so we can config that as well. And we've kind of done it a little bit uh, where we've got P as north and then kind of following down from that and then space is our fire button. Um, other settings um, that you can probably look at is your video settings uh, to make sure your resolution and everything else is fine. Um, then obviously you can go to full screen mode. You can keep it always on top. Um, uh, you can scale it, etc., etc. Uh, have a bit of a play with these, but that's basically how you apply it. You can see through here, we hit the fire button, which is our control button, um, and we are into playing uh, a little bit of bubble bobble, and pretty much just plays as the old game did on Commodore 64, pretty much exactly the same, so... And that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Now you can also, the great thing about this is, we can actually save uh, our progress if we want to. So if we wanted to, we could go save, snapshot image. Now under WinVice, we could, it saves it as a Vice snapshot file. So we could save this as bubble, bobble, save. Now this was the thing about the Commodore 64 games was, you know, you used to have to sit there and have that one whole long playthrough, but we can actually save our progress if we want to. So we hit that and we hit save. All right, now you can see that we'll go through to the next stage. But if we want to go back to our save game, we again hit the snapshot and we go load snapshot image. And if we go back to, uh, sorry, where were we there? We were in our C64 Winvice where we saved it. We've got bubble bobble save game right there. So we can click on that and it basically takes us straight back to where we were, where our save file was. So that's one of the great things about the emulator. Um, of the Commodore 64. Um, so again, lots of settings that you can look at, um, things you can do, guys, but pretty simple, right, is just to go straight in. Again, we can do this again. We want to exit. We just turn it off. Uh, we'll go back to our um, file here, and we can load, uh, you know, we can load another game uh, if we want to. Um, so we've got a few games down here, but it is very simple, uh, pretty much just double click the file 
and now it will pretty much load from there. We can open up. Um, you can go to your full screen setting if you want to. You can, again, make it load faster if you want to or less faster. Um, so, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that helps. Um, you know, great great um, way of playing your old Commodore 64 games on your PC. Uh, if there's anything I missed in that, please let us know. Um, if there's anything else that you want to see or anything else that uh, you guys have noticed while uh, using Winvice, um, if there's anything else that you guys want to see from us, please let us know. Um, but hopefully that helps you guys to be able to play Commodore 64 games on your PC. We will do uh, some further ones, um, some further games we've got coming up for our top best games of the Commodore 64 era. Um, so once again, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some more great C64 content. And I look forward to catching up with you guys again on the next video. I hope you all have a fantastic day, guys. Thank you and bye for now.